Okay, let's start. How to make an effective resume by using Google Docs? First, you have to simply search Google Docs online and you have to select this sign in Google Docs and you will get more resume formats and select this. This is the effective resume format. And if you want another type, then you can take the blank page or anything and see here your name. Yes. I am Mahita. So, here we can have our strengths like I am a team worker, I am a positive thinker, I am a flexible person like that we have to place and here we have to give our address, my address and yes one of the important feature of Google Docs is for example if I uh, had made a mistake with the spelling then see see which is error so it will suggest us the correct spelling see address okay and yes you can give the experience here and yes and education details if you don't want the education details like this then simply erase it and click on insert and table we'll need a 4 by 4 table so give the headings like course institute percentage and year of passing year okay i'm just giving you some brief example and it is not like the exact cv so see we have to select that word and we have to give heading two i have given so for all these we have to give and yes first start with btech or your graduation then intermediate inter and ssc yes an institute name and your percentage uh, like uh, 8.5 if you mention it, it here percentage then you don't have to give the percentage to all the uh, blocks right so year yes you have to give the year and yes if you done any project in your BTEC, then you have you can give that details and yes your here you can place your skills and your achievements and many more and uh, this is my resume how I made my resume you can see I, my name and I'm a quick learner problem solver team worker and this is my address this is my mobile number and this is my email address and these are my skills I have excellent communication skills and fluency in English and good inside core knowledge on HTML, CSS, Java and uh, yes, chash.net etc. You can see here, I have given my education details uh, here and in a table like BTEC, Intermediate, SSC and you can see aggregate or CGPA and yes, experience. I have given my experience here and achievements for the beginners or for the freshers you can skip this experience folder or you can give here the active participation active participation is like uh, in your academic career you will definitely participate in one or two fields or one or two competitions like right uh, like uh, poster presentation or project as expo or creative writing anything even sports activities anything you can include it and see these are my achievements and i have subdivided my achievements into two categories like academics and communication skills in communication skills i got a district first prize in elocution competition so it is related to communication so i have uh, separated this and in academics also i got gold medal in my college event so i have mentioned it and second proficiency in intermediate so this is that is also i have mentioned so this is my achievements and see my skills yes my hobbies surfing the internet reading articles listening to music and languages known telugu and english and areas of interest is computer programming and content management system and yes reference you can give anyone as the reference here and yes this is an effective and simple resume for the beginners to the proficient level right 
uh, hope you like this video if you like this video please do like share and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this and if you have any suggestions uh, then do comment it thank you